Hi, so today I'm going to be going up my mast because I have to, well, my head sail halyard just keeps getting wrapped around the furler thing when I furl the sail in and out. And I can't figure out why because when I bring the sail down to check if the furler thing is spinning around correctly, it spins just fine. So anyway, I'm going to be making this mast mate thing, which is basically just like a ladder made out of webbing that I'll use to climb up my mast. Um, I'll probably, I could show you how I'll do that. And basically all I'll be using for that is this heavy duty webbing. I got pink because why not? Um, some duct tape and some sail slides. I got about six of these, we'll see. Or I got like eight? I think I got about eight of these sail slides um, to attach the ladder thing to the mast. And we'll see how many I actually need. But yeah, come along. Oh, I forgot to mention, the cool thing about this mast mate compared to a balsam, balsam chair thing is that one, I can do it by myself and I can just climb the ladder without having someone hoist me up a balsam chair unless you have one of those self-hoist ones, which is even more expensive. And this thing I'm going to make for 20 bucks when the mast mate um, company makes them for about 300 at least for the size of my boat it would be about 300 and I'm getting up there for 20 and uh, yeah so if you want to know how to do that keep on watching I'm probably gonna just do a time-lapse of me making it cuz it might take a little bit <laughs> you could even see the footage but it's just it got really dark really fast and I could barely see what I'm doing and also I'm kind of scared so I think when I can see what I'm doing I'll be um, just more prepared and less scared and so tomorrow morning it is um, before the Sun comes up or right around when the Sun comes up probably before it gets windy um, yeah
so that was scary. Um, I'm still kind of like, I have the nerves, but I basically the problem was that one of the wires at the very top is has come like out of its coil and so it's sticking out and that's what the furler or my head sail line was getting caught on instead of um, when the sail spins in and out um, the furler line is supposed to just stay in one spot but it was getting caught on this little wire and then it was getting spun up which was just causing me a bunch of trouble so really I need to replace that um, furler but I'm not gonna do that at this time um, so I'm just gonna tape the wire back in and it'll be fine for right now so yeah so that's the problem right there I'm not gonna, gonna lie it. it took a lot of my courage to get all the way up there. I kept getting really scared once I just got halfway at the, um, what are they called? Once I got to the halfway point, I just like froze up. But then once I got up there, I was like, oh, this is, my mast is really not that high. It's like 25 feet. So um, yeah, I'm glad I fixed that. On to the next project, which is sewing my main sail I took it off the um, boom and now I just need to cut it down a little bit so I just have it all out here but on to the next project um, I think I'm gonna just end it here thanks for watching guys um, if you want to know how to make one of these like mast mate things I just watched a YouTube video on it I think they just called it like a webbing climb or a webbing louder. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll link it down below. Anyway, bye for now.